Okay, number two, another one we have to solve. Now for this, these kind of problems, if you've got any kind of parentheses with some number on the outside, what you want to do is you want to multiply through and you want to clear that out. Now, the way this is written is there's a, a negative in front of here. Now what we can think of there is we can think of this as a negative one times everything inside the parentheses. So you want to think about it in that way, that way you can distribute that as well. So that's the first step we're going to do here is we're going to distribute the two and the negative one and clear out the parentheses. Get rid of those. So we're going to do two p and then we're going to do two times, so we do two times the first one, two times the second one. Two times p you get for that one and then two times four is eight. Okay, next we have a minus a negative one times both these things on the inside. So negative one times seven is a minus seven negative uh, times a positive p is negative p. Remember when you multiply a negative and a positive you get a negative. If you have a negative times a negative then you'll get a positive out of that. Uh, and then we don't do anything with the 7 after the equal sign. Okay so we've cleared out the parentheses. Next thing we're going to do is we need to add some like terms together here. So I have a 2p and I have a minus p here so those are like terms and these two numbers are like terms. So let's take care of the p. So 2p minus p is, that's just single p. I have a positive 8, I'm subtracting 7. Okay, so if the signs are different, you subtract them and take the sign of the larger number. So 8 minus 7 is 1 and that would be positive. Okay, p plus 1 there. On the other side, I have the 7. Okay, now the last thing I want to do is I want to isolate and solve for p. So we talked about before that you always want to do the opposite operation. I have a plus one here. I want to do the opposite operation, which is subtract one from both sides. And then by doing that, the ones are going to cancel out. You get a zero for that. So I get a P here. That's going to be zero. And then seven minus one is going to give us six. So that would be our final answer, P equals six.